What is up nerds, Crash here with the start of a long-awaited series, How to Make TF2 Maps, brought to you by TF2Maps.net and Essentials.tf. This series will teach you every step to creating your first TF2 map and hopefully set you up with the knowledge to create whatever your imagination can come up with in the future. My goal here is to provide you with an up-to-date series for those interested in taking the plunge into the mapping world. As the engine has aged, a lot of things have changed and a lot of older tutorials are no longer applicable. I can't imagine trying to start learning how to map today, which tells me it's time for this series. I will do my best to pass on what I know about mapping to you, and I'll try to keep things from getting too dry. Being bored while trying to learn sucks, so let's avoid that! This series is going to be focused on stock TF2 game modes and in the long run creating Valve quality maps. This means custom mode and non-official game types will not be covered. However, the series will get you well enough on your way to be able to figure those things out when you come to it. In Chapter 1, we are going to go over the very basics of Hammer, including explaining the tools at our disposal, showing you how to create simple geometry, the basics of what makes a working map, the basics of lighting, and how to compile and ultimately spawn into your very first creation. If you run into any snags along the way, I highly recommend heading over to tf2maps.net and asking about your issue there. They will probably be able to answer you a lot faster than I will by myself here, so jump right in and join the mapping community with us. So now that we have all that covered, let's start with our first step, how to open up Hammer. You need to locate your Steam folder, typically in C Program Files x86 on a 64-bit Windows install. Now go to Steam Apps, Common, Team Fortress 2, and finally Bin. In this folder you need to locate the hammer.bat file and double click it to run. This sets up your directories to work with Hammer. You can close out of this, and next you'll want to click on hammer.exe and select Team Fortress 2 from the drop-down menu that pops up and hits OK. And now you are in Hammer. From this point on, this is how you will launch Hammer, so if you would like to create a shortcut and put it on your desktop, I would do so now. But before we go any further, we are going to customize Hammer to make things a little easier for us and to focus it a bit more towards TF2. We are going to be installing Abujam Snark's Team Fortress 2 Ultimate Mapping Resource Pack. That's a lot of words. This pack is a compilation of resources and improvements specifically for TF2 mapping and things a whole hell of a lot easier down the road. This pack is mandatory for this series and I will be referencing parts of it extensively in later episodes. All you need to do is click on the link in the description below to go to the resource pack thread, click download, double click on the installation exe, hit run, quickly agree to the terms without reading them, skim the changelog if you'd like, hit next, do a complete install by hitting next again, and finally hit install to actually install the pack, placing your libraries in the default location. We'll go over all of these in more detail in a future episode. Let the installer do its magic and hit close. If you'd like to see in more specific detail what this pack does, check out my mapping quick tip video here, or check out the thread linked in the description below. In the next episode, we are going to do a brief tour of Hammer and explain the basics of what we use to create a map.